Doctor Who exactly, the YouTube video vlog thing, where I wear a scarf for about approximately 10 seconds every week because it's been unusually warm for a winter this year. I don't need a scarf, these things are warm and <laughs> especially this one is very cumbersome. Right, so Doctor Who episode 6 series 12, Praxius. This has probably been like the most consistent series I can remember so far. Like, okay, okay. Orphan 55 wasn't really outstanding, but it didn't rock the boat and it wasn't really as awful as some episodes have been in the past. This has just been a good run. Nothing out really remarkable either, like this, there hasn't been like a, a, an absolute gem like The Girl in the Fireplace or Heaven Sent, but you know, pretty, pretty good episodes. And this week, Praxis continues that trend. So, what's the plot? Well, it goes thusly. People are dying all over the world in random exotic locations like Hong Kong, Madagascar and Peru of the same weird mysterious illness. What's going on? Alien birds! Except it's not alien birds! Except there is an alien bird! If you got that, you got that. If you didn't get that, never mind. Basically this virus causes people to get covered in bone spurs and then disintegrate with disintegrating meaning exploding into fine dust particles. This virus takes a hold of Earth's plastic and I have to say I, I, I wasn't bothered by the spiel that the doctor gave at the end of Orphan 55 like we're ruining the planet but the ecological message behind this episode has been done so much better in regards to you know don't muck up the planet as opposed to that one where it's like don't muck up the planet otherwise in the future we're all gonna be Morlocks as opposed to don't muck up the planet because you know there's plastics in our body and I didn't even know that I googled it after the episode and it has a modicum of truth and it's quite worrying yeah so there's this alien parasite virus pathogen that it's plastic okay I'm willing to believe that in a fictional world that, that there's there's a life form out there that sustains itself on that so cool it's a weird episode where it doesn't really have an antagonist it has malicious people but they're not doing things to destroy mankind or take over mankind or destroy planet earth to sell it off for its highest bidder more than slag and all. I mean, they're not nice people, these aliens, because they've willingly infected another planet with the same virus they suffer from to find a cure. But in, 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 it's like they're driven to extreme measures. It's a believable path to take. A common complaint in the current incarnation of Doctor Who, as in the show itself and not Jodie Whittaker, is that the companions don't get enough to do. This episode actually splits them all up and has them go about gallivanting around the world. The only downside, the, the approach of this episode is that Hong Kong, Peru and Madagascar and they're only really backdrops. It's like, it's a beach, it's a river, it's a hospital, it's a lab. It's stuff that you can find anywhere and it's not used to as much effect as I think it could have. The side characters were cool, alright, fleshed out just enough that you believe they're human beings. Except for a vlogger, the lady didn't really vlog all that much, did she? It's like they gave her a character trait and then they didn't have her live up to the character trait. Right oh, I mean even the gay cop whose name I've forgotten he acted like a cowboy cop, not like a literal cowboy cop, but like, you know, like, doesn't follow the rules and he kicks down doors and he's trying to find his husband, who he loves very much. Side note, really surprised he didn't bite it at the end. Really glad he didn't bite it at the end, because it was set up for this, like, hackneyed, hackneyed cliched, you know, I've got to sacrifice myself so the love of my life can keep going. 
after the moment when he discovered that he has to change as a human being and be more emotionally available. You know, because that be a crime. I find it difficult to talk more about this episode because it's actually not a lot going on despite the fact that it moves at a very fast pace and the fast pace is good it retains your attention but afterwards what really happened a few people died we went you know here we went there and then it's like I've got the cure and then we spread the cure with a spaceship we spread the cure with a spaceship sounds like a weird 60s alternative rock title Anyway, this episode was alright, quite good, enjoyed it, but it's forgettable in the end. And it's not a crime to be forgettable, because at least it's not so bad it sticks out in your mind. Please agree with me. There's a comment section down below where you can just, you know, insult me, I don't know. Algorithms, subscribe or not, you know, do the things that society tells you you have to do. Adhere to the norm of society. Don't stray at all. Continue. Hat. Sit. Sit. Look. Go. See. Sound. Me. It's.